Well, a spot of advice on snow-covered roads, firstly, stay calm, brake and accelerate very gently. Increase the safety distance between vehicles and, of course, drive slower. So that's enough to stop you skidding? It all limits risks, but you may still have surprises. You must remember that driving is different depending on whether the car is a front-wheel drive like yours or a rear-wheel drive like Cyril's. If you agree, Alex, let's take your car for a demonstration. Then we'll change to rear-wheel drive with Cyril's car. Well, the problem is that the car starts skidding at the front. When I want to turn, it goes straight ahead. What can I do? Well, in this case, you have to take your foot off the accelerator and brake gently. And how can I avoid it happening at all? First of all, you have to drive more slowly. Then you have to go into every bend with the idea that it's much tighter than it looks. So by doing that, as soon as I turn the wheels, they grip the road better. Exactly. When you come out of the bend, you have to keep your engine at slow speed to avoid tyres losing their grip on the surface. And that limits risks of skidding. You've understood everything. If you have a rear-wheel drive and the back of the vehicle starts skidding, you have to use your brakes on your accelerator extremely gently. Keep looking in the direction where you want to go and turn your wheels in the same direction. Driving on snow is really special. You're right, there are a few rules and with good reactions you can control the situation.